I point out they have their sirens activated because had they not had their sirens activated or had they not been there as close as they were, it was very likely that several people would have been hit by this vehicle. Now at 602, danger along Ocean Drive. A car speeds up the street, putting pedestrian lives at risk. It looks like a scene straight out of an action movie. Police say it all started with an attempt to pull a car over because it was reported stolen. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live in Miami Beach with more. Brooke, good morning. Hey ladies, good morning. Yeah, all of this caught on camera. Police say it all started when a license plate reader noticed there was a stolen car. Well, eventually police arrested the 15 year old driver. They say there are still two people on the run this morning. Surveillance video shows people running for their lives as a black Cadillac barrels through Loomis Park with police in tow. Police say a 15 year old was behind the wheel. He hops a sidewalk and that's when the driver um, goes into Loomis Park, a big grass field, uh, tons of folks out enjoying this the beautiful afternoon. Thankfully, misses everybody who's walking. Next, we see people dining on Ocean Drive run for safety as the car races by. He jumps off of that grass field onto the closed Ocean Drive, which is with pedestrians, cyclists, skateboards, and then exits Ocean Drive at 7th Street. He rams into barricades that we have along that area, which causes one of his tires to flatten. This is getting toward the end of the pursuit after going all over South Beach, making its way to 6th and Washington, where again, people had to run for cover. It's here where that 15 year old was taken into custody. This all started when a license plate reader tagged that black Cadillac as stolen. After the driver was out, police checked inside. What we did find in that vehicle was a loaded firearm on the driver's seat with an extended magazine. And there's another twist. The driver in, in police custody is 15 years old. We've also learned that he is not the original driver who initially came into the city when he was spotted at South Point and Alton Road. They swapped. All of this happening on a very busy weekend in Miami Beach, and it could be just the beginning. This is, for our staffing purposes, the first weekend that leads us into spring break, which will be for the next eight weeks or so. And as of this morning, several dozen arrests made in Miami Beach. So Francis Maribel, police tell us that stolen car did hit several cars and even ran into an officer's motorcycle. But remarkably, no one was hurt here. Again, police say two people still on the run this morning. I'm live in Miami Beach, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 This Morning.